Hi everybody, this is Gene and Mr. Gino502 and today I've decided to do another video. I haven't done one for a while and I really lost interest there for a while to do them so but I've been watching other people's videos and showing their records and so it inspired me to do another one here and I'm going to show some 45's um, on my channel I usually put at the top the Beatles and more and I've shown pretty much every Beatle record I have you know if you want to go back and look at the old videos and so now it's time for more so this is part of my more stuff but um, just wanted to start out here with the first record I ever bought this is not the actual one but it is the song that I bought and it was 40 years ago this summer in the summer of 1973 I was 10 years old and I bought my first record and it was Jim Croce Bad Bad Leroy Brown and I have it here this is not the one that I first bought but this is this is the first record I ever bought 40 years ago and I like the song but being a 10 year old I really liked that Jim said damn in the song <laughs> um, 1973 was a lot different than it is now so you know but at first I remember my mom didn't like me to listen to this song because it said damn quite a few times but um, later on she got to liking the song so um, but anyway it's for me it started right here 40 years ago I bought Bad Bad Leroy Brown and then in the fall of 73 I started to buy 45 like crazy. In the fall, I started listening to the radio, started liking songs and buying records. And this is original. This is the first actual one I bought. Was Space Race, Billy Preston, and I wrote all over the sleeve. This is the original. I bought it in the fall of 1973. And. Uh, the record store that I went to it was interesting because they um, priced the records according to the how big a hit they were and I think this one was like 89 cents because it I think it was like number eight it was like in the top ten so I think below the top ten they didn't cost as much <laughs> and then the top ten records were like 89 cents so but this is the very first really when I really started buying 45s so I consider those two the first I bought that one and then that one so but now I'm going to show you my box this has got A through what's it got A through C so I'm just going to show you my picture sleeves I got most of them are from the 80s but um, they're just cool so I, this is the ones I got I got ABC how to be a millionaire. And I'm going to try to go through these fast because i got a lot of them. And i got good old Brian Adams run to you. And i got Errol Smith Ragdoll. I remember I bought this one in Myrtle Beach in 1988 when I went to Myrtle Beach. That's a great song. Then I have good old Aha uh -huh with Take On Me. And then we have a great instrumental, Herb Alpert, Route 101 or Route 101. If you listen to American Top 40, the 80s, like I do, this is in the Top 40 they're playing this week. It was on the in the Top 40 in 1982 this week. Then I have America, the border. That's a great song. Kind of a minor hit. Then I have Arcadia, Goodbyes Forever. I like that really great song. Then I have Ashford and Simpson, Solid. Great song. Looks the same on both sides. This one's got the... Swirl capital label. 
And then I got, let's see, three by Asia. I got Heat of the Moment. And I got Don't Cry. And then I got one of their minor hits, Go. That's a great song, too. So like I said, most of these are from the 80s, but I bought a lot of records. Like I said, I started in 73, and bought 45s up until about, I guess, 1990, I guess. That's when they really started going away, anyway. Then I got good old Rick Astley. Good old Rick Astley. Whatever happened to him? And then we got Philip Bailey, Easy Lover. Of course, he was with Earth, Wind, and Fire. I love them. I don't know if I have any of their picture sleeves or not. Here's a lady that I really like, Anita Baker. She was really good. I don't know if she's still doing anything or not, but I really liked Anita Baker. And Same Old Loves is probably my favorite song of hers. She's really good. I always liked her. And then I have Marty Ballin. I always liked that song, Hearts. Wasn't he in Jefferson Starship, I think? Uh, then I got one by Banana Rama. There's Sasha. You're gonna start fussing at me? No, she's gonna sit there and watch me. Then I have two by the Bangles, walking down your street. And I also have in your room. That's a nice picture sleeve. Then I have a couple by Pat Benatar, We Belong. Whenever I bought 45s, I was always happy to find them with the picture sleeve. But if I liked the song, it didn't really matter. That was just a bonus. Invincible. That's from that movie, Legend of Billie Jean. That's actually a pretty good movie. This is the first record I ever bought by George Benson. This is how I discovered George. Love George Benson on Broadway. Bought that in 78 when it came out, 1978. And that's what, this record's what started my love of George Benson. And then I got Love Ballad. Good old George. Love George. And there's one from 2020 that came out in 85. That was a good album. And it didn't really do much on the, I guess, on the pop chart. But it was really good. And then I have Berlin, Take My Breath Away. And let's see, I got one of Blondie's Rapture. That's a good song. And then I got Gary U.S. Bonds, Out of Work. And Bruce Springsteen, I think, wrote that and produced it. It sounds, if you never heard Out of Work, I think it sounds a lot like Cover Me, the Bruce Springsteen song. But it's really good. It was a minor hit. And then I bought this one somewhere because somebody wrote on it. But Carla Bonoff, personally, 242, whatever that means. I didn't, I bought this used. Always loved that song. That's a nice picture sleeve. So, <laughs> a lot of 1982 stuff here for some reason. And then I have a couple from Boston, Amanda. And then I have We're Ready by Boston. Then I have some David Bowie. Let's dance. And I have Modern Love. Oh, modern Love. And then I have good old Blue Jean. And it's on Blue Vinyl. How about that? Where is it? There it is. Oops, upside down. Yeah. That's pretty cool. 
I love blues, they're my favorite color, so like that. Then we have some one Laura Brannigan. Always liked her. Sad that she died so young. She just died a few years ago, I think it was. Self control. And this is one from the 70s, the Brothers Johnson. One of my favorite songs of all time. I love that. Strawberry Letter 23. And then I have Bobby Brown. Don't he look cool? My prerogative. I like that song though. But then I got another Brown with an E. <laughs> Jackson Brown, Lawyers of Love, and then I, let's see, good old James Brown, Living in America, came out in, I think, 85, then I got a couple by Lindsey Buckingham, Trouble, and Go Insane. That's cool. Cool song. That picture sleeve's kind of cool. I think it kind of almost glows in the dark, those letters. And then I have an obscure kind of, I guess, I don't know if anybody's really heard of this. Kate Bush running up that hill. It made the top 40, but it was a real minor hit. It's a real good song. And then I have John Cafferty, C-I-T-Y. That's a good one. Then, whoop, they're rolling away here. Word Up by Cameo. Then I have Belinda Carlisle. Which one is that? Circle in the Sand? Yeah. Here's another one from the 70s, late 70s, Dream Police. Cheap Trick. That's an excellent song. Sounds a lot like the Beatles. And I have Chicago, Stay the Night. Chicago is one of my favorite groups, but uh, for some, this is the only picture sleeve I've got of them. I got some of their albums. I bought those mostly more than 45s. And then, uh, talking before, I've seen some of the videos around about the most embarrassing record. This is kind of my embarrassing record. The Super Bowl Shuffle <laughs> by the Chicago Bears Shuffling Crew. This is kind of my embarrassment. I like that song though. I never was. I'm not. I'm not really a football fan, and I never really cared for the Chicago Bears. <laughs> but I think this came out in '86. I guess I don't know. But I bought the um, '45. <laughs> so this is kind of my embarrassing '40 or my embarrassing record. It almost made the top 40. I think it made it to like 44 or 43 or something. But that was the year they won the Super Bowl. But I like the song. It's just kind of embarrassing to like it. But Eric Clapton, Forever Man. And Clammy Fisher. Love changes everything. I think they were like a one-hit wonder. That's a good song, though. And then I have Natalie Cole, Jump Start. That's a good song. This next record, I don't know why I bought it. It's a studio, Phil Collins. I really don't like that song. I don't know why I ever bought this record. But I did. So, I guess out of the ones I'm showing you, this is my least favorite. I don't know why I even bought that record. And then I have a couple by Crowded House. Don't Dream It's Over. Bought this in Elizabethtown, Kentucky, I remember. And uh, next, their next single, I think it was, there was Something So Strong. I think both of those were on the, yeah, on the Swirl label, Capital. And my last three are Culture Club. I know. I like Culture Club. I can't help it. I'll tumble for you. And Church of the Poison Man. 
And last but not least, it's a miracle. Yeah, it's a miracle I'm finishing this video. So, alright, there you have it. If you want me to do some more of these, let me know. I still got about four or five more boxes of records, and, you know, I'll show them to you if you want to look at them. And, but, like I said, that was my, this wasn't actually my first, this is a copy, but the first record I ever bought was Bad, Bad Leroy Brown by Jim Croce, and it was 40 years ago, the summer of 1973, when I bought my first record. So, alright, that's it. Hope you enjoyed watching this, and thanks for watching, and thanks to all the other people that show their records, and like I said, you, the other people that's been doing this, showing records, and kind of inspired me to do this. So, I kind of really lost interest for a while, but watching those and everything kind of inspired me to do some more. So let me know if you want me to, and I will. It's a lot of fun doing these record, doing these uh, videos about the records. So, thanks again, and thanks for watching. Bye.